It's Alfred Turner, A L F R E D T U R N E R. Good morning, Mr. Turner. Are you employed? Uh, yes. And uh, where are you employed? Uh, city of Atlanta Police Department. And uh, how long have you been with the City of Atlanta Police Department? Uh, 30 years. And what is your official title at Atlanta Police Department? Uh, at the Atlanta Police Department? I'm a crime scene supervisor. And do you recall working on April 28th, uh, Tuesday, April 28th, 2015? Yes. All right. And um, do you recall, uh, well, tell the ladies and gentlemen of the jury what, uh, if anything, you recall about working that day? Um, I was uh, called uh, that a shooting occurred at uh, 1428 Adel Avenue, Southwest, um, and um, Officer Pitts, um, advised that he needed uh, photographs and evidence collected at that crime scene. Okay. And to your knowledge, what is located at that address? Um, when I actually got to the address, um, I noticed that um, there was a bunch of shell casings in the streets, in the yard, um, a few, um, I think it was three uh, vehicles had damages from um, gunshots and the residents um, had a bunch of uh, gunshot um, damages to the, to the residents. Um, did you see any people at the scene? Yes, I did. I saw some, um, some other officers and I believe some investigators was there, but uh, again, that was in 2015. Do you recall what time of day it was around or about when you arrived? Um, around four o'clock in the morning, because I work on midnight shift. Do you recall the weather conditions at that time? Um, I believe it was just um, kind of cool, but... Um, Better but, question, was there sun up or was the sun down? No, the sun was down, it was dark. <clears throat> Was the crime scene secure when you arrived that day? Yes. By any chance, would you recall who secured it? Um, I, would, I would think that Officer Pitts would have uh, secured the scene. Did you go to the crime scene alone or did you, were you accompanied by anybody? Um, I was by myself. Okay. Um, so did you, in fact, process this crime scene that is under discussion at this time? Yes. What was the first thing that you did on Tuesday, April 28, 2015, to process this crime scene that we're talking about? Um, do you mean when I arrived on the scene? Yes, sir. Um, I, I talked to uh, Officer Pitts so he can kind of give me an overview of what happened. <clears throat> And did you, as you described earlier, for this scene, put placard, evidence placards down? Yes. And um, did you take pictures? Yes, I did. And um, did you collect evidence? Yes. And uh, what uh, what evidence did you collect? I collected uh, 34 um, shell casings. Do you recall what type or size of shell casings they were? Uh, yes. Are they, uh, do you... Uh, is it not apparent to you at this moment off the top of your head? Um, I just didn't want to get the number wrong. Okay. <laughs> you, would anything help refresh your recollection? Uh, yes, I can. Uh, what would refresh your recollection? Um, if I looked over my notes. Okay. Um, I'm going to approach the witness which was been pre-marked the state's exhibit 10 KK and um, I'll allow you to look at this and uh, see if your memory's been refreshed. I'm going to take that so that you can look at that. Okay, there were um, two, two, two threes and actual seven, seven by six, two by three, nine, which is assault rifle um, shell cases. Okay. <clears throat> um, as it relates to this um, crime scene that we're still talking about, uh, how many evidence placards did you put down that day? Uh, 34. And 34 placards went next to what evidence? Um, all, each shell casing. And did you take any pictures of these placards next to the shell casing? Uh, yes, I did. 
And do you recall about how many photos you may have taken that day? Um, I think it was a total of 128. Okay. That was basically a photo of um, the street area on Adel Avenue. Okay. Um, you described earlier overviews of, uh, you take overviews of pictures. Is this one such type of photo? Yes. Um, and what was the purpose of this overview? It's just basically to show the, um, the, the actual street and actually what the, um, the photo shows um, from a distance. That's also an overall photo of um, ADL Avenue, and I was um, showing the actual residence from a, from a distance. Is this the opposite direction from the previous exhibit that we're looking at in terms of direction? Yes. Um, again, it was a close-up photo of the um, actual address with the um, vehicles parked in the yard. And I am taking the cursor. Can you see that cursor on your screen? Yes. Uh, what address uh, pertains to this building where the uh, vehicle appears to be parked in the driveway? Uh, that's the 1428 ADL Avenue. Uh, is this the same vehicle that was shown in the previous exhibit? Uh, yes. And uh, do you know, did you mark or notate this same vehicle's uh, presence in your report? Uh, yes. And do you know what type of vehicle this is based on this picture? I think that's a Chrysler Pacifica. Turning your attention to State's Exhibit 41, Kappa Kappa, uh, is this another view of the same vehicle that was shown in the prior exhibit? Yes, that's just a photo of the front of the vehicle. And why did you take photos of this vehicle? Um, because it had um, damages to it. Okay, what type of damages did you observe uh, at that time? It had um, gunshot damages. Okay. Showing you now State's Exhibit 32, Kappa Kappa. Uh, from what angle of the vehicle was this photo taken? Um, that was just showing the, the driver's side and also the yard. Um, you're just showing the, um, the, the driver's side and, and the yard of Adel Avenue. <clears throat> now showing you State's Exhibit 30, Kappa Kappa. Uh, what is that mark that appears to be on the vehicle right where the cursor is circling about? Where the cursor is pointing to just the right. That's a gunshot um, to the just the rear driver's side quarter panel. Uh, and to your recollection, uh, do you recall about how many defects or gunshots to this vehicle you took pictures of? Not to be exact. Turning your attention to States Exhibit 31, Kappa Kappa, and I am again moving the cursor that is dragging to this area, do you see there, Ron, in circle? Do you see that? Yes. Why would you have taken a photo of this particular area? Because there also is a, a damage that um, possibly came from a, a gunshot as well. I want you to look a little bit closer to the bottom of State's Exhibit 31, Kappa Kappa, where you see this indentation in the vehicle where the cursor is placed. Um, does that tire appear to be inflated or deflated? Uh, it appears to be deflated. Now showing you State's Exhibit 17, Kappa Kappa. Uh, what type of vehicle are we looking here at in this exhibit? I believe that's a Dodge Charger. And um, did you also notate this particular vehicle in your report? Uh, yes. And um, why would you have taken special notice of this? Because that vehicle was also parked on the sidewalk at the same address and also had um, damages to it. And I am now... Um, states showing now states exhibit 19 Kappa Kappa. Um, do you see this uh, rear photo of this photo uh, of this vehicle, the same vehicle? Uh, yes. All right. Um, and is this just another such uh, view of the vehicle, uh, the four quarters of it? Yes, just a different angle. All right. Showing you states exhibit 23 Kappa Kappa. Oh, uh, why would you have taken a frontal view of this? I took a front of view because there's a damage to the front hood of it, um, where it's parked at. Do you see where this cursor is moving towards at this time? All right, it's kind of delayed, but there we go. You see that area right there? It's darker than the rest of the concrete? Oh, yes. Uh, does that appear to have been from the damage, or do you, uh, to your recollection, was that there prior? I'm not sure. Um, I just took a photo of where it was parked, so I'm not really sure that it was there before. 
now showing you State's Exhibit 24, Kappa Kappa. Uh, Supervisor Turner, what is this marking or um, hole, if you will, on the uh, hood of the uh, Dodge uh, vehicle? Um, it's also a damage from um, gunshot um, to the, I guess, front hood of the vehicle. Okay. Now showing you State's Exhibit 25, Kappa Kappa. Um, is this do you see this indentation on this vehicle where the cursor or the pen is going to put? There we go. Yes. Right. And uh, what, what do you know that to be based on your training and experience? And that's also uh, gunshot damage right there on the top hood. Are there two markings in the same vicinity on this exhibit? From my experience, it looks like the... Um, the, the gunshot went through the hood and kind of stopped at that top part. Turning your attention now to State's Exhibit 33, Kappa Kappa. Uh, can you tell the ladies and gentlemen of the jury uh, why you would have taken such a photo? And also this um, vehicle um, in Infinity was parked in the same driveway and it also had damages to it as well. Um, do you see anyone in front of the home? Uh, yes. Did you get a chance to speak to them? Uh, no. All right. Um, now showing you State's Exhibit 36, Kappa Kappa. Can you describe for the ladies and gentlemen of the jury uh, the damage that you observed to be from bullet defects on this particular uh, vehicle that was there? Yeah, we had, had damages from the um, passenger side front. Um, hood, and I believe it's a damage to the um, passenger side rear door, I believe. Okay, so <clears throat> um, is that uh, a separate defect from the first that we just observed in the prior uh, exhibit? Yes. And this is State's Exhibit 38, Kappa Kappa. Now showing you State's Exhibit 39, Kappa Kappa. Is this another defect that you observed on that day, um, on that morning, um, on the same side of the vehicle? Uh, yes. All right. Um, is this, what view are we looking of the vehicle and why would you have taken this? And that's just show the, the rear of the vehicle, um, showing the tag of it. And why would you have taken pictures of the tags of these vehicles? We usually uh, make sure that the tag matches the, the actual vehicle. Now showing you State's Exhibit 42, Kappa Kappa. Why did you take this photo? Um, it's the, the, the front of the residence. And um, but why would you have taken this photo? Um, we'd like to show that, uh, that this is the actual um, this, this, the photo of the residence is actually where um, majority of the damage is actually happening. And um, now showing you State's Exhibit 43, Kappa Kappa. Um, why, uh, what is the purpose of this photo that you took? Uh, it shows the, that uh, the front window of the residence had um, multiple gunshot um, damages to the window. On this photo alone, from this viewpoint, are you able to describe or count how many gunshot uh, defects you see in this window? Uh, no. Showing you now State's Exhibit 44, Kappa, Kappa. Um, using this photo, can you? is this the same uh, window that was shown in the prior exhibit? Yes. And from this, can you uh, count for the jury how many defects you see to this front window here? Uh, it looks like about three. Utilizing State's Exhibit 44, Kappa Kappa, uh, how many defects do you see? And on this one, is two. Do you see... Uh, do you see the cursor? Uh, yeah. All right. Is that a defect? Okay, it disappeared. Still ain't there. It's not on mine, but um, yeah, but it's that'll be three. Okay, all right. <clears throat>
is this a uh, different photo or a different view of the same front uh, window that uh, had the effect? Yeah, it's just a, I think it looks more like a closer up uh, photo, but the same window. Is this a different defect than the three that we just previously looked at? I believe it was just higher. The photo looked like it was just higher up. All right. What about this one in States Exhibit 47, Captain? Uh, this one, one defect. I'm sorry? It's just one gunshot. Okay. Uh, Is this a separate from the previous three that we just saw? It was quite a few, so I'm not really sure. All right. No problem. Okay. <clears throat> Now turning your attention to States Exhibit 40, 48, Captain. Captain, um, what are we looking at here? Uh, this is an overall view of um, once I took a, my initial photo of the actual street. Um, this was to show you that the actual shell casings were out there, but without the numbers, you wouldn't have been able to see them. So the numbers actually show each shell casing where they were actually laying. This is, a, is this an overview of some of those placards that were placed out there? Yes. Okay. Objection 403, cumulative, waste of time. Your Honor, these are separate photos, and they are all uh, actually truncated just considerably. So. Okay, well, get it. It's not going to be long. Let's move right. through it as quickly as possible. Sure thing, Your Honor. Um, States Exhibit 49, Captain Kaplan, is this yet another view over uh, a different angle of a, a similar view of the, the placards? Yes. All right. Okay. Um, again, um, is this a different view of the beginning of the numbers from which you started uh, with the placards? Uh, yes. And that is States Exhibit 51, Captain Kaplan. All right, showing you States Exhibit 53, Captain Kaplan. Um, is this, uh, what do you see here? Uh, it was a marker number 11 of a shell casing. Is it away from the rest of the shell casings or placards that you uh, saw or put down that day? Yes. Okay. Showing you States Exhibit 52, Kappa Kappa. What? Uh, Same objection, Your Honor. Cumulative waste of time. All right. I mean, at some point, it certainly becomes that. So please, you know, utilize the ones that are necessary to be able to tell the sure, no. incident. I am going to. Go ahead. I'm, I'm going to fast forward. Um, your, and I'm going to point your attention to States Exhibit 67, Kappa Kappa. All right. Um, here we have uh, States Exhibit Kappa Kappa. What, what are we looking at here? Um, shell casing one and two. <clears throat> and uh, do you recall which shell casings those were uh, in terms of size? Uh, they were two, two, threes. All right, showing you states exhibit 68, Kappa Kappa. Is this a separate shell casing from those that we saw in the previous exhibit? Yes. All right, do you recall what size this was? Um, I would have to look at my nose to be exact. Sure. Between the two, excuse me. All right, showing you states exhibit 69, Kappa Kappa. Um, does this capture um, the shell, uh, another shell casing that you discovered? Yes. Showing you states exhibit seventy Kappa Kappa. Um, you put down it, it, you put down another placard. Is this a different shell casing from the other? Right? Yes. And does it go in sequential order to what number? Um, yes, it does. What, what, does the shell casing placards go in sequential to what number do you stop? I stopped at number thirty four. Okay. Showing you states exhibit seventy one. Separate shell casing. Same yeah. objection, Your Honor. All right, can you, can you ask him maybe a broader question that establishes that each placard is a separate shell or shell casing? Right. Um, first, uh, Supervisor Turner, um, did you take pictures of each and every shell casing? Yes. All right. And did you take them by each placard? Yes. All right. I'm going to transition your attention to State's Exhibit. States Exhibit 
want to tap the tap. All right. In this photo, uh, why would you have taken this photo and where was it taken? Uh, that was taken in the inside of the residence. Okay. And um, why would you have taken this photo? I'm just uh, showing an overview of what I actually saw when I walked inside the house. Were there gunshot defects inside the house? Oh, uh, yes. All right. Um, utilizing State's Exhibit 114, Kappa Kappa, can you tell the ladies and gentlemen of the jury uh, where you see those gunshot defects to be? Um, in this photo, the uh, gunshots are behind the couch. Uh, are they, is it fair to say they're on the couch? Uh, no, it's in the back of the back of the couch. What is that where the cursor is pointing? And those are the gunshot holes. Okay. How many do you see? Uh, two. Okay. Um, why would you have taken this photo in states uh, uh, exhibit uh, one o two capital cap? Um, because I took a photo of the window from the front, I also took from the inside of the house, showing the damages from the inside of the house. Showing you State's Exhibit 118, Kappa Kappa. Do you see uh, damages to the window in this photo? Uh, yes. All right. How many defects do you see? I see four. Okay. Showing you State's Exhibit 103, Kappa Kappa. Do you see any defects to the home in this uh, photograph? Uh, yes. Where do you see it? Uh, it's in the wall, um, just in the middle of the lamp. All right. Is uh, where the cursor is pointing, where that defect that you're describing is positioned? Yes. Right. Showing you State's Exhibit 108, Kappa Kappa. What are we looking at here? There's also a defect in the wall near the, I guess that's a horn on the wall. Showing you State's Exhibit 105, Kappa Kappa. Do you see a defect in this photo? Uh, yes. Were there multiple defects inside the home? Yes. Were there defects downstairs? Uh, yes. Were there defects upstairs? I don't think so. Turning your attention to State's Exhibit 110, uh, do you see any defects in this photo? Uh, yes. And and that is 110, Kappa Kappa. How many defects do you see in this photo upstairs? Uh, that's three. Okay. I am turning your attention now to State's Exhibit 113, Kappa Kappa. Do you see a defect in this photo? Uh, yes. All right. And is that defect where the state's cursor is pointing? Yes. Showing you state's exhibit 122, Kappa Kappa. Do you see any gunshot defects in this photo? Uh, yes, below the picture in the wall. Showing you state's exhibit 124, Kappa Kappa. Do you see any gunshot defects in this picture? Uh, yes. How many do you see? Uh, two. Showing you now State's Exhibit 125, Kappa Kappa. Uh, do you see any gunshot uh, defects to the door in this photo? Uh, yes. All right. Is that defect where the state's cursor is moving? Yes. Are all of those defects that you described uh, noted or, excuse me, are those photos that you took showing those defects uh, noted in your crime scene record? Uh, yes. Okay. And um, all of the defects that you saw, uh, were there any placards next to the defects? Uh, no. Why wouldn't you put placards next to the defects? Um, usually the, the uh, investigators didn't request any for those, um, for this actual case. Okay. Uh, the vehicles that were affected by the gunshot uh, uh, defects, uh, what, if anything, does APG do anything with those vehicles? Uh, yes, uh, what we do is we impound the vehicle and um, and then we search it later if that's something, um, part of the investigation. training and experience are 7.62 uh, rounds larger than those that would typically go into a handgun? Yes. Based on your training and experience as a crime scene tech, are 223 caliber uh, rounds uh, larger than those that would go into a, a handgun? Yes.
earlier you talked about the types of testing that is done on uh, shell kits and evidence. Do you recall that? Yes. You talked about uh, super glue and uh, black powder being used in that process. Do you remember that? Yeah. Um, did you, in fact, perform any testing on the shell cases that were recovered from this crime scene? Yes. And what uh, testing did you perform? I did the uh, super glue and a black powder. And uh, did that testing yield any results of any value to you? No. After such tests were run, what, if anything, um, did you do with that evidence, um, specifically the shell cases, um, once you completed it? Um, the shell cases was turned over to um, APD Crime Lab. And does a, or what does APD Crime Lab uh, do, if anything, with those? They do ballistic testing on them. Are you involved with the ballistic testing? No. Supervisor Turner, you stated earlier that you uh, prepare crime scene records. Do you recall that? Yes. Did you prepare one for this case? Yes. And did you uh, create uh, it at or near the time that you performed your particular part of this uh, evidence long? Yes. And um, would you recognize that crime scene record as shown as today? Yes, I would. And I believe it is before you, it is uh, identified as State's Exhibit um, 10 Kappa Kappa. Yes. <laughs> and do you recall that being the exact uh, crime scene record that you authored? Yes. Has it been changed in any way? No. Has it, um, does it accurately, fairly, fairly and accurately represent uh, the work that you did and the, the, the writings that you put in there at the time that you authored it? Yes. And, um, or, does that crime scene record contain um, all of the uh, descriptions of the photos that you took on that day? Yes, it does. Does it contain all of the descriptions of the uh, evidence that you collected that day? Yes. Does it, does it contain all of what you did uh, around or about that time on April the 20th, 2015? Yes, it does. Your Honor, at this time, State now moves to admit State uh, 10 Kappa Kappa 1. Your right. Honor, I would object to submission. The, um, the testimony, or it would, it would be cumulative of the testimony already provided by this witness. Um, Your Honor, I intentionally kept a witness from going through each thing for that very purpose so that it would not cross such an objection line. So, trying to mince words, I was just. Your Honor, the, the statement would be testimonial. Um, it would be unnecessary. Uh, photographs have already been admitted, and this witness has already testified. The record itself would be cumulative of everything that has been entered thus far and has been testified to. I would object. And, and much like an autopsy report, Your Honor, it simply explains exactly which photo he took and what he did. Reason uh, based on that fact, and it doesn't. It, he did not testify to everything contained. It's admitted. All right, I would like to uh, direct you to your report, uh, which is ten kappa kappa, and ask you a few questions contained there. Uh, what is the crime scene date listed on your report? Four twenty eight, twenty fifteen. Court of Hearing for a movie on scene crime scene uh, on scene officer that uh, was in the present first responder there. Uh, Adrian Pitts. What is the crime scene number? What is a crime scene yeah, number? What is a crime scene number for identifying? Well, the crime scene number for us is um, the actual number that we use to start our um, crime scene report. Yes. Well, what does that mean with respect to what you did in this case? Um, that's just a, a part of uh, of the camera that um, the set for that right there just shows that I use um, an actual bulb to um, take the photos because it's nighttime.
At this time, Your Honor, the state has no further questions. All right. Do any of the defense attorneys have questions for this witness? On behalf of Mr. Williams, we have no questions. Mr. Williams, Mr. Harvey. Okay. All right. Thank you for your time. You are excused. And this is probably a good time to break for lunch. <laughs>